Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're back in my little nook. My name is Stephanie, for those of you who are new. We're continuing with my rankings of the decade. Today we're gonna to be doing my top 10 based on a true story. So my last previous rankings, I feel like I've been doing really good and like trying to get through it. Let's see if we can continue that. So let me go ahead and shut up and get on with my number 10 pick. And that would be 2012's Argo. And um, this one, ugh, Honestly, I think I had it further down in my list and now I have it up on my top 10 and I'm kind of regretting it at this point to be honest with you. I'm regretting it. Scratch that. We're going to leave it back where it was. So my real top 10 would be 2013's Lone Survivor. So Lone Survivor takes place in 2005 and there's a group of Navy SEALs who got deployed on, on a surveillance uh, mission. Actually, while they were doing surveillance, somebody did kind of stumble across their little campsite so instead of killing the young guy and the old man they let them go free and the young guy of course you know like freaking like jumped through all these damn i mean i would have been dead to be honest with you and went in and uh, alerted the uh, taliban leaders or the taliban people whoever it was that they notified to come let them know that there's like some military and you, we know we need we need to go and kill them this is a fight for their survival a lot of shit goes down it is action-packed it has you like Oh my god. We ran along to number nine and that would be 2013's Captain Phillips. This took place in 2009. It stars Tom Hanks. Who doesn't love a good Tom Hanks movie? This one actually involves pirates. It's a Somalian pirates. Again, some stuff goes down. It's more of a dramatic deal to it. But my respects for Captain Phillips because he really kept his crew uh, safe and really, you know, great captain and great leadership. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to number eight, and, and that would be 2011's 50-50. Now this one is actually based on Seth Rogen's friend. And Joseph Gordon-Levin plays Adam. Well, Seth actually plays like a version of himself, but his name is not Seth in the movie. It's a really beautiful friendship story. It's more of a like slow based drama. There's no like ups or downs really to it. So moving right along to number seven and that is now where I had Argo at 2012's Argo. Literally rewatched the trailer just to kind of refresh my mind a little bit about it. Cause I haven't seen a lot of these movies in a long time. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Ben Affleck stars in this and he directed it as well. Um, his mission is to go to Iran to go and help six Americans who when shit broke down, they ended up getting refuge in like the Canadian embassy. And so they kind of had to like make up this plan to get them out safely. So they make up this whole plot that, oh, we're gonna come over here to shoot this movie. They literally got like a whole production deal. They got directors, they, they literally were selling this off. And that final scene, you guys, when they were on the airplane, oh my God, I was just like, are they gonna get caught? Are they, I, are they gonna blow up this plane? Number six, that would be 2016's Hawkshaw Ridge. Hawkshaw Ridge is the story about this one soldier who refused to, you know, use any kind of weapons during World War II due to religious reasons. He ended up saving like 75 men without firing a single shot. Asking God, just one more, please. Just one more. Guys, I think this is the quickest that I've gone through a video. No lie. But before I give you my top five, of course, here are a few honorable mentions. Welcome to Marvel. I actually almost forgot about that one. It's so much fun. Uh, Steve Carell comes on it and he kind of lives within this alternate reality in a way with like little dolls. But he's so talented. And coming in at fifth place would be 2015's Spotlight. So this one took place in 2001 and it is about um, a group of journalists to go and investigate the priests when there were um, allegations of like over 80 uh, boys or were being molested by the priests. It is really really interesting. Um, really goes into detail and really kind of shows where they try to bring out the reports and all these accusations about how the uh, Catholic Church is actually covering up all these abuse of priests. Mm -hmm. Number four, that would be 2016's Alliance. So Lion is about a Saru using Google Earth to find his family 25 years after he got lost. They didn't abandon him in any way. He got lost. He got on this train. I think he fell asleep. When he woke up, the train was on its way. And who knows how long it had been going before he actually woke up. And he went through some things before um, he got adopted by this Australian couple, which Nicole Kidman comes on it. And it is a really nice story, just, you know, trying to find your way back home. Coming in third place would be 2014's Wild. Wow. This movie follows Cheryl, which is played by Reese. She really kind of basically lost her shit after her mom died and just kind of went through this really dark hole. Um, after she ends up getting divorced, 
she decides that she needs to really find herself. So Cheryl pretty much ends up making a decision that she should stop her destructive behavior and kind of make a change. And she pretty much ends up deciding on this going to hike the world's toughest and longest trail which is the Pacific Crest Trail. You do get a lot of flashbacks within this movie. And the second place would be 2014's Big Eyes. This one stars Christoph Waltz and Amy Adams and takes place in the late 50s and early 60s. So the story follows uh, Walter and Margaret and Margaret is actually the painter who does the big eye weird kind of portraits and Walter pretty much is the one that ends up taking credit for it of course you know disagreements go and you know she's the one that's doing all the actual hard work and he's doing it at one point kind of loses it and just is like I want the credit people need to know that I'm the one that's doing the paintings and you know the husband of course is like I'm the talent, but reality, you ain't shit. The movie does have really beautiful colors. The paintings are absolutely gorgeous. We have made it, you guys. My number one pick, what I consider to be the best based on a true story movie, would be 2012's The Impossible. This one stars Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor. Now, this is about a family who ends up going on a winter vacation to Thailand. And this happened in December 2004. They went over there to go celebrate Christmas. Unfortunately, their vacations kind of took a turn to the worst when a big, huge tidal wave came and hit the island. And, like chaos everywhere you guys and it gives you a little glimpse of what happened during that time of how everything was destroyed and what happened after the sea decides to kind of take over and just kind of like devour everything in its tracks so this is my list of what i consider to be the best based on a true story movies what did you guys think is anything on my list on your list the film is so subjective you guys it changes even within a few minutes, it changes where I went on my list. Tomorrow, it may be number one. No, it's not going to be number one. Don't, don't mess with my impossible. And as a reminder, there are no wrong lists. Just because you don't like my list does not make it a wrong list. This is what I consider to be the best. Not necessarily the best for you, dear viewer, but this is what I like. Comment down below what you consider to be the best of the decade. Before you guys click on this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Till next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!